Okay, we'll call the 11th regular meeting with the Common Council to order. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Bauman? Here. Berg? Here. Eberg? Here. Doyle? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Ports? Here. Schultz? Here. Stephan? Excuse. D. Van Akron? Here. T. Van Akron? Here. Vanderbilt? Here. Wangaman? Here. Warner? Here. Winninger? Here. 15 present. Quorum's present. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that we approve the minutes of the previous meeting and the special council meeting and the stand approved as entered on the, on the record. Moved and second that the minutes of the special meeting, special council meeting and the previous council meeting stand approved. Under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Who do we have for the pledge this evening? Sire. Chief Sire, would you please lead us in a pledge? Steve, resignations. Uh, the mayor received a letter from uh, Dan Whalen dated August 14th, advising that uh, he's sold his uh, city residence of 33 years and is running a condominium in the town of uh, Sheboygan and as a result uh, needs to resign from the Special Marina Committee. It can be placed on file. And uh, appointments uh, dated today's date. Uh, hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration to the Business Improvement District. Linda Jarr, David Krieger, Elfrida Radke, Janet Carter, James Hansen, and Bill Dawson. Uh, all terms expiring 9-18-05, signed by the mayor. That will lie over. And David Gass to be considered for appointment to the Special Marina Committee to fill the unexpired term of Daniel Whalen, whose term expires 430.03. Signed by the mayor. Over. Thank you, Steve. Public forum, Pat? I have no one. Okay. Consent agenda, Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that we accept and file our, all ROs. All committee reports be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions be put upon their passage. Move to the second. All resolutions be put upon this passage. ROs be accepted and filed, and RCs be accepted and adopted. That's 11 1 through 11 18. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, on 1118, I would ask that that be sent to strategic uh, planning and fiscal planning. Um, both Steve and Rich, the finance director, said that that should go there because it does pertain to the upcoming budget. Okay. Make that a motion, please. I would move that we do that. <laughs> that we, I would, uh, number, uh, five, eight, 11, 18, that the committee report from finance be, um, that that go to strategic Who seconded? fiscal plan. It's been moved and seconded that the 11, 18 go to strategic fiscal plan under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Doyle. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, on 11 12, uh, beverage operator license number 5739 has the option to be here to speak in her behalf. Uh, Amy Dick's boss, but I don't believe she's here, so it just remains in the consent agenda. Okay, thank you, sir. <coughs> Hearing no other discussion on everything from 11.1 through 11.17. Pat, would you call the roll, please? D. Berg, E. Berg, Aye. Doyle, Aye. Moody, Aye. Perez, Aye. Ports, Aye. Schultz, Aye. D. Van Akron, Aye. T. Van Akron, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Warner, Aye. Wenninger, Aye. Bauman. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 1119 and 1120 to be referred. 1121 will lie over to 10702. 
11.22 through 11.31 to be referred. And on 11.28 and 11.29, instead of going to finance, like those to go to strategic fiscal plan, reason being is, and I need Rich to speak on this also, the handouts that were given to you a couple meetings ago, council budget policy <coughs> handouts, we received nine of them. There's six that we did not receive yet. Uh, this is very important that we get these back in and marked. This is telling us what you will accept and what you will not accept in a budget. We have to make some large adjustments in this upcoming budget. And this is a way for the older persons to give their input and let us know how you feel about this budget and where you want it to go. Uh, we will, generally I present my recommendations to the council in September. I will be doing that October 7th. That gives us enough time to <coughs> get these in. I need them. If you have them out there, I need them by the end of the week. If you lost them, here's extra copies up here. Please pick them up after the meeting tonight, fill them out, get them back to me or Mike so we can go through them. These will go to strategic fiscal plan also. The committee then will review them. This will come back to the council with my recommendation at that time. Uh, and with that, Rich, could you come up please and just explain how the budget is going to work this year with the new budget books? Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I'll just briefly go over the format and on here. We have a new system that our staff developed uh, on a network basis and database. And uh, so it's a little bit different format than we had before. And the inside cover that you, when you first open it, I placed an index, and this is, uh, shows the order in which the uh, budget is presented by fund. And you can go through there to look for the individual funds. Now, most of the departments, um, operating departments, are in the general fund um, and within that first section. but. Uh, if, if you have any problems uh, going through this format at any time, please call me if you're looking for information, whatever. I'll go over it briefly here this evening. Uh, the first document after the blue front cover blue page there is uh, analysis of, of the budget uh, as my communication to the council. And uh, just one, one thing I want to indicate on here that this is a comparison to the original budget approved by the council last November. Um, there is, after that, there is a, a report of officer that lists all the, the numbers involved in here, and that is, uh, compares to the amended budget as of the middle of this year. And the statute requires us to compare to amended budget when we present it to the council, but the council's policy on, uh, on the budget that they previously passed was to the original budget. And that's why my analysis is back to the original budget. So there's a little bit of variance in there. Uh, if you have trouble following that again, please just give me a call. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out in the general fund, as we have in the past years, we've allowed the departments to uh, submit additional requests that are basically memos or notations uh, that are beyond um, the council's limits, but they're allowed to communicate their needs uh, through this process. So you, you'll see some of those in here on the side. It'll, it'll say an underlined additional request. Uh, those are basically standby requests if they can be funded, but they are not included in the departmental's uh, total budget or in the totals that are submitted by the fund. Um, at the back of the report, there is a listing of uh, capital outlay by departmental uh, priorities of their requests. And as you recall, this last year, in order to be able to fund our shortage or shortfall that we had and with the increase in, in health insurance, that uh, we took capital outlay out of the budget as, as we passed it. And uh, so in order to get that in, of course, it's, it's putting more, more pressure on, on the whole budget process. But this shows the priorities of the departments um, with, of their needs. And then also there is uh, the 
listed also in the very back is the additional requests and they're also by the departmental priorities uh, for what uh, they need for their departments. So I don't know if there's any quick questions I can answer right now. I know it's, it's a lot of data and if you get a chance to look at it, you know, as I said, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. But as the mayor said, it's very important if you can uh, get the surveys because this will be referred to the strategic and then during the next month. And also, I, I did indicate on the analysis there uh, that they'll be coming back to council September 16th. And I think now we're, we're looking at the next council meeting uh, so the mayor and the strategic committee can coordinate their recommendations to the council in, in one. Uh, so maybe, I don't know if the mayor wants to indicate any more on that. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Rich. All right. Questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving along. 1132 by Alderman Schultz, authorizing retaining outside legal counsel in the matter of Anthony William Rozak versus Kevin Greenwall. Alderman Schultz. Thank you, Your Honor. I need to ask for suspension. Second. It's been moved and second for suspension. Are there any objections? <laughs> Alderman Van Akron? I just. Will object and vote no. The reason for the uh, suspension, Your Honor, is uh, we need to go to the outside for legal counsel in this matter, and uh, it needs to be done soon or expeditiously. It's uh, the reason for suspension. Okay. You want to make a motion, please? Put us a passage. I thought I did. Oh, that's right. We need a vote. We need a motion to suspend. Right. Okay. All in favor of the suspension? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Aye. Aye. Doyle? No. Moody? Aye. Perez? No. Ports? No. Schultz? Aye. D. Van Akron? No. T. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? No. Wangaman? No. Warner? No. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? No. Five ayes, ten noes. Motion failed. Okay. It will just lie, lie over, over then. Okay, we'll move on. 11, 33, and 34 will lie over. 11, 35 through 38 to be referred. 11, 39 will lie over. 11, 40 to be referred. 11, 41 and 42 lie over. 11, 43 through 1145 to be referred. Matters laid over 1046, RSC by Public Protection and Safety recommending filing documents submitting a communication from the Sheboygan County Administrative Coordinator requesting 30 minute parking, regu 30 minute parking regulations along the north side of New York Avenue between North 5th and St. Clements Driveway and passing the attached ordinance. Alderman Warner. I uh, thank your honor. Uh, make a motion we accept and file the report of committee and pass the attached ordinance. Ordinance. Moved and second we accept and adopt the RC and pass the ordinance. Uh, under discussion. Under discussion, your honor. This will limit parking on the north side of New York Avenue from the corner of North Fifth Street to 150 feet west. It will allow 30 minute parking in this area to provide access to the county administration building for taxpayers and those with short term business. Uh, and this is at the request of the county's administrator, Adam Payne. Uh, unfortunately, unlike private businesses, the county has been allowed to expand in this area without providing adequate parking. And we try to address their concerns at every opportunity we get. Thank you. To another discussion, Pat, would you call the roll, please? Doyle, Moody, Aye. Perez, Aye. Ports, Aye. Schultz, D. Van Akron, T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Wangaman, Warner, Aye. Wenninger, Aye. Bauman, Deberg, Eberg, 15 ayes. Motion carried. 
1146 RC by Public Protection and Safety recommending entering into a contract for purchase of a fire department minivan. Alderman Warren. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion we accept and file the RC and pass the resolution. Second. Then move to second to accept and adopt the RC and pass the resolution under discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Quartz? Aye. Schultz? T. Van, uh, D. Van Akron, T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Wangaman, Warner, Aye. Wenninger, Bauman, D. Berg, Aye. E. Berg, Aye. Doyle, Aye. 15 eyes. Motion carried. 1148 will go to Plan Commission. 1149, a resolution by Alderman Portsenberg accepting a petition for direct annexation of property located at the southeast corner of Sunnyside Avenue and South 13th Street. Alderman Ports. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion that the resolution be adopted. Moved and seconded that resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 1150 will go to Plan Commission. Alderman Bauman. Oh, uh, we have 1151. I'm sorry. 1151, Steve. 1151 is an RO by the Economic Development Manager. Uh, advising that the Joint Review Board for the ER TID number one met and approved the proposal to remediate environmental pollution and passed resolution 271-0102 as amended, creating ER TID number one. Thank you. It's accepted and placed in file. Pardon? Accepted and placed in file. Okay, that can be accepted and placed on file. Okay. I'll okay, thank you, Your Honor. Um, this evening, I'm, I've uh, been asked to speak about the final concert, which is the uh, Mayor, Mayor's Twilight Concert Series. This was uh, sponsored by the City of Sheboygan and Charter Communications. It's a special music extravaganza because of the fact that being the final concert, it is Friday, this coming Friday, September 6th, at Fountain Park. We will have three different bands playing there that evening. From 5 o'clock to 6.15, it'll be the Carl Locke Orchestra. From 6.45 till 8 o'clock will be the Dangits. From 8.30 to 9.45, Big Cedar. There will also be food and beverages available, which would be offered by the Mayor's Special International Committee, along with the Subami Goodwill Student Exchange Program. The uh, food and beverages will be available for purchase at 4.45 p.m. until close. And of course, the beverages will be soft drinks and coffee. The uh, fair, the food, in other words, which will be available will be Sloppy Joe sandwiches. Along with that will be a dill pickle and potato chips, uh, more or less a plate lunch. They'll also be offered homemade desserts. So needless to say, there'll be plenty of good food available, and we'll have enough for up to 300 people. So we're hoping for more than that, but we have enough food for 300 people. Thank you. Mayor, do you have anything to add to that? No, did a good job. Thank you. Uh, before we go into closed session, a couple of things I do want to say just briefly, and then we'll get into closed session. City of Sheboygan Day of Remembrance, September 11th, 7 o'clock, Fountain Park, 7 p.m. Hopefully everyone can be there. I see most of you have your ribbons on. Uh, we made 650 ribbons, over 650 ribbons for all employees in the city of Sheboygan. That evening, Jerry Bader from WHBL will be master of ceremonies. We will have the Sheboygan Press there. They will be donating a plaque and a tree. There will be speakers. One of them will be our chief, our fire chief, our police chief, VFW, honor guards. There will be a candlelight vigil. Uh, there will be singers from North High with us, so it should be a night that everyone, if you can, please attend. 7 p.m. again, September 11th at, uh, at Fountain Park. The other thing is, Alder yeah, I was gonna say Alderman Lightpam. <laughs> Used to be Alderman Lightpam. Representative Lightpam called me today. He talked to Rich Chandler, and Rich, you know him, I believe, from Department of Revenue. And this is going to go hand in hand with our closed session. Uh, Department of Revenue, is looking at what they can do for some special legislation for us to extend our TIF, TID 6, or TIF down here at Lakefront. Um, they will have an answer for us tomorrow 
or suggestions, if we can or can't, they will contact us and call back. I told them to call Rich and let him know. Uh, otherwise, it will have to go through uh, the regular budget process starting in January. But they are looking at different avenues we can take to speed this up. So he thought, he asked me if I would mention that to the council this evening. Where we're working on that. With that, Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that we go into convenient and closed session under the exemption provided in Section 19.851E of the Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of discussing and possible approval of agreement relative to the lease of city lands and for the purpose of deliberating the purchase of pub public properties or competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Moving in second, we go into closed session under discussion. Hearing none, can, Pat, would you call the roll, please? Can I change that a little sure. bit? You sure may. The closed session was supposed to end at the lease of city lands. It's the third line. Okay. It was a repeat from the last closed session, and some of it was inadvertently added. So it's not deliberating, de deliberating the purchasing of public lands. Okay. With that, Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel, Wangaman, Warner, Aye. Wenninger, Aye. Bauman, Aye. D. Berg, Aye. E. Berg, Aye. Doyle, Aye. Moody, Aye. 15 eyes. Motion carried. We'll take five minutes, let the news media clear, and then we'll go into closed session.